Hey, hey, uh, good day, folks. Welcome to a short edition of Lumberjack Logic and in another episode of I Told You So. Because remember, over the last few days, I've been warning, I've been saying, look, don't buy it for a second. Don't buy that these this weapons cache was part of the convoy or anything like that. Probably planted. Well, here it is. Here's the news, and I've, I've, I've confirmed this from multiple sources. The guns and four arrested were from a farm by Milk River. That's 20 kilometers away not part of the convoy at the Coots border crossing. RCMP knew of that the farm existed and the ideological positions of those who lived there and knew they could spin the narrative with scary pictures if they made the arrest. It's a psyop, folks. It's a psyop. They had zero, zero to do with the protest. See? This is government working in collusion with the media again. The feds, okay, so federal law enforcement. This is the problem here in the United States too. RCMP is like the FBI. It's the feds. Local law enforcement often does a decent job, okay? I know many local law enforcement officials. I love them. In fact, I pray for the Hibbing Police Department because in Minnesota here, they have been constantly demoralized, okay? And they have a tough job to do. There are many in law enforcement who are out there doing their work, doing it well. I, I could go on with all kinds of stories, but I just want to get this out. This is, again, another one of these false, fake, nonsensical media reports designed to create hysteria. There was no weapons even at the border crossing convoy. I love y'all. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Peace out.